Hey everybody, it's Diana from Wild Rose. How are you today? I know it's been a hot minute since you've seen my face. I apologize for that. Um, lots of stuff has been going on recently. Uh, first thing, good news, my um, official first six month scan, my breast scan, uh, has come out clear, which is awesome. Uh, so far so good and I am just taking it day by day with that uh, doing what I have to do I continue taking the meds so and um, it's been good it's been good so that's good news hot flashes are still a bit to to deal with um, but I just got prescribed some campo medicines which are Chinese herbal medicines so I'm gonna try those and because I can't take hormonal therapy anymore because of my breast cancer was estrogen positive so I gotta try the alternative stuff. So that's good news. Second news, um, I would have made a video in Kyoto, but I had a call for the kitties. And a lot of you know that I do, um, I am a volunteer transporter and volunteer helper with Japan Cat Network. Um, and my very good dear friend Susan needed some help. So I had to run out there and I took care of some kitties and I got to transport three beautiful, beautiful kitty cats, including two little baby kitties. Um, so that was awesome and uh, my nails are kind of shot because I was moving things around the house and I just broke a few nails um, I helped her set up one of the guest houses up there. So if you're ever in Kyoto check out Maniki Machia They are guest houses out in Kyoto and it is the best place to stay ever seriously um, So yeah, so I've been a little busy mom went home on the 14th. So yeah, there was that and I Wanted to do go through some of these yarns with you and show you what I picked up since I have been gone um, and my rule of thumb is until you see it I can't use it so I have to show you for me to use it and I want to use it um, oh another news I officially taught myself how to knit um, I did it years ago I taught myself how to do a knit stitch the mechanics I, I understood the mechanics I knew the mechanics of it. I knew how it worked um, but I still never had the patience to actually do it. So when I've said before I know how to knit stitch, I do. I know the mechanics of it. Um, then I actually did buy a really nice set of circular needles. I bought the Luca, Luca needles. Uh, they're the driftwood needles. And they're beautiful, beautiful high-end set. And I want to show you guys that. But um, I also just ordered the Chow Gu complete set of the red twists. Uh, the interchangeable uh, needles. So when those come in, I'll do it side by side. But I sat down last week on a Friday and I said, screw it. You know what? I picked up some cheap. Let me show you these. I picked up some really cheap uh, knitting needles at one of the thrift stores in Kyoto. The last time I was there, not this recent time, but the time before that with mom. I think I got these for like 50 yen, which is about maybe 35 cents a pair. Uh, they're just the um, clovers, straight clover, the bamboo. And I will say, um, I don't like bamboo, not a big fan of it, unless it's higher end. Uh, there is definitely a drag on this, but they were great to learn with. And I sat there on one Friday and I did this and I'm so, it, it's, it, trust me, I, I effed it up. I did. I screwed up a lot, but you know what? I did it. Look at that. I did it. And it's nice. And I was able to make a whole scarf with one skein of yarn. And if I had did that, if I'd done this crocheting, you know, it would have been like at least a skein and a half, two skeins. So it's not perfect, but I did it. I'm so proud of myself. And I also taught myself how to purl. So now I'm investing in better needles. So I've got a set of uh, chowku coming in. I've got my, my Lucas, and once I get better at it, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison for those of you who are looking to purchase high-end needles. So, um, I did pick up, I want to show you these, I did pick up these prims, two sets of these. Um, this is a six millimeter. I did pick up these because I am going to do one more thing. I want to make a scarf for, my, for one of my relatives. Um, and they're really cool because they're you can't really see it on the video but they're triangular they're not round they're triangular um but i love their crochet hooks prim crochet hooks are amazing um, if you're looking for a really good set of ergonomic hooks 
that are not super expensive. Go on Amazon, you can buy an entire set. You can, there's two sets, there's a smaller size set and a larger size set. They're really super affordable. I encourage you to buy both sets if you really want a good, I mean, I love these hooks. The prim hooks are great. Um, I use them a lot, actually. I probably have officially used them now more than I've used my furls. And I, I've given most of my, I've probably given most of my furls away to tell you the truth, um, to friends and stuff and relatives. Um, but I wanted to share with you what I got and I wanna share first my, oh, I got to the thrift store finds later. I did get a bag of, and I opened the bag, sorry. <laughs> I ordered a bag of Premier Yarns. Now, I did get these from the Premier Yarn site because they shut down their Etsy store. I think they figured out that I was getting like free shipping with a less, like a, a lower purchase amount. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's doing that, trust me. I'm sure a lot of people figured out, well, if I get their Etsy store, that I can get less yarn with free shipping still where their website if you, unless you ordered a super amount, you wouldn't get free shipping, but it seems like they've kind of figured that out themselves, and I don't think I paid any shipping for this. So this is just a really small haul. I got three different colors of the painterly anti-pilling acrylic yarns from Premier, and I got three colors. I got boho, flannel, and fireside. So this is the boho. Now the boho, I got five skeins of each color, but I wanted to show you guys these yarns because they're really nice. Um, anybody who's watched my, my videos know I love Premier yarns. I've not had an issue with Premier yarns. Um, they're super soft. It's acrylic. So acrylic is soft. Some people don't like acrylic. I do. And acrylic is great because if some people are actually, they have allergies to different like wools and things. So uh, the acrylic is really nice. It's a nice option and it has a nice stretch to it too. But anyways, this is the painterly. Now each of these skeins are all the same as far as yardage goes and everything else. So each of these skeins are 153 yards or 140 meters and they're three ounce or 85 gram skeins, okay? They're a medium four worsted and it says here for knitting needles, they suggest five millimeters for a crochet hook, a five and a half millimeter. So let me just show you that. And like I said, as far as weight goes and all the other things, they're all about the same. They are, they are exactly the same. So this is the boho. And the boho has really nice spring colors to it. You see those colors? Now I'm here without any kind of studio lights. I just have my, the natural sunlight coming in. So the colors you're seeing here are pretty true. They're pretty true to what you're gonna get. Um, Really, really nice yarns though. You see that? So this is the boho. And again, it's really, really soft, nice and squishy. Um, I did also get, my next one here is the flannel. So this is the Premier flannel. There we go. Okay. And and also, you know what, let me, I didn't show you, this is the color code in case you wanted to check it out. That is the color code for this. Let me show you the color code for the boho. So that's the color code for the boho. I hope that's focusing. So that is the boho color code, and this is for the flannel. So the flannel is more of a, I don't know, I think I, I think I call it more of a woodsy color. Where a boho kind of strikes me more as a, spring ish kind of color springish kind of summer color this is definitely like a woodsy color like a natural neutral I'm trying to get a good view on these colors for you so this is the flannel and i don't know if you can see that green in there that almost like a not quite a hunter green but more of a let me see if you can see this here. More of a, like a dark sage, maybe? So it's got a lot of beautiful colors in it though. And I love these kind of colors. These are my favorite kind of colors. These natural, woody, 
um, outdoorsy kind of colors. I love these. So I got five skeins of this, um, and I think I get these on special too, so I don't think I paid a whole lot. I really don't. I don't remember, well, you know what? Is there a, oh, there's not. Okay, so there's no receipt in this bag. Um, I don't see a receipt with any of these, but if I find out that, if I figure out the price, what I paid, I can go back and look. I'll let you know. Um, I am going to put a link to the Premier Yarn webpage down below in the comment section as well. So, um, or the, I'm sorry, the description section. So there'll be a link to these, to, to these yarns on that website. I can't talk. <laughs> um, also, this is really close. It's tested and approved against 350 plus harmful substances. Yes, it means it's it's a good probably a good thing so this is the fireside and the fireside um i would definitely call these autumn colors but there is the label for you guys so you can see all the good stuff i'll go slow in case you're taking notes And this is the color code for Fireside. There we go. Uh, this looks like it's got almost a, I call it if Hunter Green and Teal had a baby, it would be this color. I would say that, definitely. Um, can you try to get the sun on that so you can see that color, that green right there? It's not really I don't know, I think on this one, the, the light's not really doing it justice. And if I put a light on there, it, we're trying to open this up a little bit for you. Here we go. So that is the fireside. You probably hear Buddy in the background meowing. Buddy, hey Buddy. No, we're not gonna say hi. No, no hi. He says no, no hi. Um, got five of these, again, anti-pilling acrylic, uh, really, really soft. So yeah, so that is my premier painterly little haul here that I got. I'm gonna throw these back in this bag because I really don't want them becoming cat toys. Um, it has happened. So I'm just gonna shove these back in really quick before I go through my next one that I got to show you. And... I never do get them back in the bags the way they were set up. I apologize for my um, my messy background here. Uh, it's just been busy, busy, busy. So um, I I do have a series of video um, called crocheting on any budget, and still true. I do hit the I hit the thrift stores up here whenever I get a chance to to look for yarns and everything else, and I I. I mean, if there's, okay, so we have a dollar store or a hundred yen store called Daiso. If it's Daiso yarns or Kendo yarns, Kendo yarns, or any of the other hundred yen yarn shop yarns, um, you know, I'll pick them up sometimes, but not really. Uh, I just find that sometimes the dollar store yarns can be... I mean, there's some there's some decent ones that will hold up, but some of them just uh, to untwist really easily, or I just not crazy about them. Now I know that Premier does have a line um, of yarn that they actually have released at Dollar Tree in back in the states. Um, I'm not there, so I don't have the privilege of shopping those amazing thrift stores out there anymore, unless I go home for a while, which hopefully next year I will. Uh, but here at the thrift stores, you can also find a really good yarns. I came across a load of puppy yarns. Now, puppy yarn is a brand of yarn that's really popular out here. And you can find them in any of the major yarns, like the, the yarn suppliers, you can find them. Uh, they're not super expensive, but they're not super cheap. It's kind of like that moderate in the middle kind of pricing. And honestly, I would say it's probably along the pricing that you would find um, maybe Drops or Premier yarns. But anyways, uh, this is, I cannot read this, 
<laughs> I cannot read this. It is in it is in Japanese, so I really cannot read this. Uh, it looks like it's an acrylic blend. Yes, it looks like it's an acrylic wool blend. So, yeah, and I would definitely say it's like a fingering iron there. It's really super thin. You know, I might make a nice pair of gloves or something. Um, I don't know how that would be a sock. That'd be, that'd be kind of a freaky sock because of all those sequins in it. But uh, yeah, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven balls of this. Now, each of these balls is uh, 25 grams and 75 meters. 75 meters is probably, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to do the math right now, but probably 90 yards, maybe, maybe 100 yards. I don't know. Uh, 25 grams though and like I said I can usually tell here uh, it says 11% wool I can read wool and I can read acrylics I know those two I've learned those two already the last one I don't know what it is I'm guessing it's probably gonna be a polyester or something but it's really soft it's and for for thrift store yarns, they don't smell funky. Some of the thrift store yarns, you've got to smell them because some can smell really funky because if they've been in someone's like basement, not basement, there's no basements here, but like attic or storage space, um, it can get kind of a weird smell. Uh, but this is really, really nice. And these yarns probably would end up selling for, I don't know, maybe 700 yen a ball, 600 yen a ball for these. And I got them for... Uh, probably 60 yen a piece. So I think it comes down to 60 yen a piece. I got seven of these. 60 yen is maybe 40 cents, maybe 40 cents. So yeah, I got a good deal. And there's seven of these and they're really, really pretty. Um, they've got really nice sequins in them. Can you see them? Can you see those sequins? Excuse my nails. My nails are just trashed. I know that. Eventually I get them done, but for what? I'm just gonna break them again. See those sequins? It's really pretty. It's a really nice purple. So I did find those. And I got these. And I got like a whole bag of these. I know that plastic's loud. I'm sorry. So, and I was actually thinking about doing something with these. Um, I grabbed, I, I did, I, I got... I got kind of selfish and like when I see yarns like puppy yarns or yarns like this and they're a really good price these were 55 yen a piece I just grabbed them all I mean every single one that was in the bin I grabbed them all and I do that and I and I share them I do I, I share a lot of my stuff uh so this here is let's see if I can get one with the I don't know kind of what it looks like they, they put the price over the the brand. I don't know why they do that. Sorry, my stomach is growling because I have not eaten today and it's probably lunchtime. I just got so busy, you know, laundry and all the other stuff and housework and yeah, I do housework. I do dinner prepping. I get to live in Japan and do my hobby like as much as I want and whenever I want. My husband works super hard to support not only this home, but our home in the Gulf Coast and all the animals we have. And you know what? If I'm home, I'm officially retired. I'm a re retired, uh, well, I was in home inspections. Uh, I don't know if you know my background, but I had my own appraisal firm for a very long time. And um, I ended up branching off and doing uh, inspections for insurance companies and uh, what have you, and different builders and things like that. Um, I was actually on my way getting my adjuster's license to open my own company and then we moved to Japan and he said well why don't you just be retired for once in your life and I'm like okay I guess I can be retired <laughs> took me a while took me a while but I'm 50 now and I don't know maybe it's not so bad you know I, I do miss it I'm not gonna lie I miss it all my jobs were outdoor jobs I did work um, a little bit at one of the estuary centers. Um, 
I do have a I do have a, an actual degree in physical geography and a master's certificate or a graduate certificate in conservation natural resources management. Um, so I, I I do actually have the science degrees to to you know back me up a little bit, but. Here, long story short, I am retired, so yes, this scientist now does housework. And I don't mind. You know what? If it's my way of helping out the team and keeping the house going, then I, I have no problem doing it. And I get to spend the rest of my time hiking the beautiful countryside of Japan, the mountains, um, working on my hobbies, working on the channel. And I, I think it's just a, it's a really great team effort and... Nothing makes me happier than to help my husband out that way. And I don't think that's a bad thing. And I don't, I hope I'm not ruffling too many feathers by saying this, but I don't know. I, I was raised, I'm a Gen Xer, so I was raised, and I was very lucky. I was not a latchkey kid. I was not a latchkey kid. Uh, my mother was home. My, my mother was home. Uh, my meme, my grandmother, my Inuk grandmother. Uh, I, I, was, I was raised with a bunch of Inuk women. Uh, anyway, so it was it was an interesting upbringing. It really was. Um, but uh, I was raised with the women in the household, and I picked up a bunch of really great um, things because of that. I learned how to cook, how to bake, how to sew. I learned everything. Um, and a lot of women out there. I know I'm going on a little preachy tangent here, but bear with me. A lot of women out there, especially younger women today, are being taught that, you know, if you don't have a career, if you don't have this, you know, being a housewife is crap. And you're just a low life if you're a house. And they do. They really push the idea that women who choose to be home with their families and in the households, you know, are just not as good as any other, as other women. And that is such bullshit. That is absolute bullshit. If you have chosen, if you're fortunate enough to stay home with your family, I'm gonna tell you right now, my friends whose parents weren't home, it was a different childhood than what I had. My mother was home, my grandmother was home, and I'll tell you right now, I am so thankful for that. Every day of my life, I am thankful for that. I had an amazing childhood because of that. Um, I wanna just applaud all you stay-at-home moms, all you stay-at-home housewives. If I applaud you, that's a job. People don't understand, that's a job. You know, and I think it's great. And I think if you have a husband or a spouse or a partner or whoever that is willing to go out and, and pay the bills and, and do everything else, and you have the opportunity to choose, you know, I, I want to make it clear to choose to stay, not, not that you're being forced to stay home, but it's that kind of, that's kind of horrible. But if you're choosing to stay home in the household, if you're choosing to raise your children and raise your family and, and work in the house. I think that's commendable and I think it's amazing and good for you, you know, and I'll bet you cook really, really well. Um, that was a tangent. I'm so sorry about that, but I just, I just felt like some, some people out there needed to hear that. I think some women out there really needed to hear that because sometimes I need to hear that. Um, but anyways, look at these great yarns I got. Oh my God, guys, seriously, look at these yarns. Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, I almost lost my place here. If I feel led to speak about something, I will speak about it, you know what? And if people don't like what I say, well, I'm sorry. You know, I, I say how I feel and I love every one of you and I just want you all to know how special and how important and how vital you are to everybody's life around you. You are, seriously. So I got these beautiful yarns. No, I did peel one off. So it says, hold on, I didn't peel it off all the way, hang on. Oh, I'm trying to peel this price tag off without ripping the actual label. And my roughed up jagged nails. Oh, uh -huh, maybe they're good for something. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it says, form, hand knitting yarn. I don't think this is hand knitting. I think they meant, you know, hand knitting. It's translations. Uh, form yarn, whatever that is. And this is see if I can get the it feels acrylic and it is it's 100% acrylic yep okay so I can read um <clears throat> I can read acrylic in katakana and hiragana some things I can read uh this is a 40 gram ball and like I said I got these for these were 55 yen a piece so I got black 
I don't really do a lot with black yarn. I don't. Um, but it was there. It was really nice and soft and fluffy. And I'm sure someone's going to love it or I'll figure it out. Uh, I got a lot of grays. And this is why I tell people, go to your thrift stores. I got a whole series of crocheting on any budget. And I push thrift stores big time. Because thrift stores are gold mines. They're gold mines for yarns and fabrics. And all kinds of things you can repurpose and do. Uh, Goodwill is really good for that. Usually the Goodwills will always have a, a section of like craft supplies, whatever. Um, but there's a lot of different... What, buddy? Are you meowing at the birds? No, are you coming? Here, come here. Come here. Let's see if I can get Buddy over here. Buddy, you want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? Here, Flammy's well, yarns are up here, but you can come say hi. No? No, you're going to stay down there where they can't see you? Come here. I don't know if you guys can see Buddy. No, he's over there. That's funny. Um, but I encourage you, seriously, just go to your thrift stores, any thrift store. Um, you can find some really nice yarns. And here's Poe right in front of me. I, I wish you guys could see this, but if I move the camera, he'll run away. Hey, Poe Poe. Um, I found all these beautiful yarns, and these are acrylics. And I found these two. I got, I just got four, let's see, one, two, three. I got five colors. I got black. I got gray, the gray here. And again, these are 40 gram balls, 55 yen a piece. I got this really nice cream color. Can you see how fuzzy that is? And they don't stink. That's when you, I smell my yarns when I have, because I'm very sensitive to smells. I can smell, I have a, an insane sense of smell. Not a gift, people. It's not always a gift. Trust me on this. It is not always a gift, okay? Especially in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> it could be really bad in the summer but these don't smell I always smell my thrift store yarns because you never know but I did get these two colors it's really pretty lavender I got and this really pretty white um I actually you know what I, I I'm not a crazy fan I'm not nuts about lavender but my mother-in-law is so I actually thought about making her a scarf or something. And I haven't done that in a while, but I wanted your opinion on something. And in the comment section, if you guys can let me know, that'd be great. So I have enough of this white and the lavender. I have two lavenders and I got a bunch of white, but I can really do something nice with the white and the lavender or the cream and the lavender. So there's cream and lavender, which I'm okay with, I just don't love it. Or the white and lavender. I think that just looks more wintry. I don't know, what do you guys think? If I if I had to pick a color scheme to do, white and lavender or cream and lavender, which one would you guys pick? Let me know in the comments below. The cream and lavender or the white and lavender? Let me know in the comments below because I'm going to do one of them. But yeah, I got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 balls of yarn that I was able to clear out of that bin. And yes, I cleared it out. Sorry. <laughs> I did. I said, wow. So you figure that's, oh God, you make me do math. Um, I'm doing the yen conversion plus the conversion to, I don't know, uh, well, anything that's nine and nine, it was cheap. It was cheap. Yeah, I can actually do calculus. <laughs> when I sit down and do it, I can do it. Uh, but I can't figure this out in my head right now. But anyways, um, yeah, so I got some really cool uh, thrift store finds. I just wanted to pop in really and just say hello to everybody and let you know I'm still here. I'm still making videos. I got a, I got a couple things I want to load up to, to the channel. I've been to a couple places and done a couple things and I think it's really cool. Um, I did not get as much video as I wanted to with the cat transport, even though they were adorable. I will see if Susan got any video and I will um, share that with you if I can. Uh, but we were just super busy out there. Uh, it was, you know, get out there and it, I just helped set up one of the guest houses, one of the last guest house that she had to get set up. So we did that together. We got some things for the kitties. And then before I knew it, I was in the car with three kitties heading back to Tokyo uh, from Kyoto. So it was pretty busy. And uh, 
we're going to be going to Izu, the Izu Peninsula, this this uh, coming holiday. Um, I typically celebrate winter solstice. Um, I do celebrate Christmas though. I don't have a problem with Christmas. I, I don't. It's all the same holiday for me. It's all winter holiday. Um, but so we're going for Christmas and we will be staying at the Joy Inn. I have video of that below in my other videos too for in my Japan playlists. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, we stay there. That's where we stay in Ito. Um, it's beautiful. The guy, the guy and his wife that own it, they're just super nice people and their dogs are amazing. I love their dogs. So we'll be going out there and staying two nights there. And we're going to go see the Grand Illuminations. I'm telling you, nobody does light illuminations like Japan. Japan just, I mean, their winter illuminations are fire. Seriously. They're just amazing and gorgeous and videos don't do it any justice. It doesn't, it really doesn't do any justice. Um, it's just astounding to me with the effort that's put into these light displays. And even downtown, I'm just walking around Kichijoji or going to Shinjuku or any of those cities. There's just so many lights around. It's just such an immense effort and it really does. Japan doesn't have Christmas like you would have back in the West. Um, but it really makes up for it. I mean, it, there's Christmas, but it's not like Christmas like you would think. It's a little different. Uh, but they definitely, um, there is definitely the winter solstice celebrations here, which I love. Uh, so it, it's it's still Christmassy. It's still wintry and holiday and everything else. It's beautiful. So I'll share some of that with you as well. And also, um, one, I'm going to start getting ready to do my uh, my winter season giveaway. I can't call it a Christmas giveaway or anything like that because there's no way anybody's getting that for the holiday. It's not, it just, it's coming from Japan, so it'll take forever. Uh, so I'm going to be announcing that probably in another week. Um, I want to thank all my new subscribers. Um, and thank you guys that have just been with me here through this journey. This has been great. I love you guys. Every one of you, um, you know, I have a couple of you that I've become really good friends with. And it's just been an amazing journey and I want to say thank you. And I will be posting another video before Christmas gets here. But uh, I mean, I just, you know, I, I started this channel as just something to occupy my time with and, you know, be able to share maybe with one or two people. And it's just, I know it's not a lot of followers at all. I, I know I really don't have that many subscribers, but it still feels good. And, and I see all of you, I notice all of you. Um, I really do and you guys have been amazing so anyways um i'm not i already got i already got kind of preaching once i'm sorry about that but you know I, i've just seen a lot of I, I went on tiktok for like five minutes i just can't get myself to stay on tiktok because it's it really is a toxic place and i've just seen so many videos of young women or or, or just tearing down women who choose to be stay-at-home moms and stay-at-home wives and I just you know that just rubs me the wrong way so if there's any young women out there and you have a beautiful man or woman or partner in your life and they're good to you and you know you have that arrangement where you know one of you has chosen to stay in the household and take care of the family and whatever and one has chosen to go out to the work field never feel bad about yourself for that that's an amazing blessing it's a blessing it's a blessing to your family too Honestly, you are a blessing and never let any modern, never woman or whoever or whoever, never let anybody tell you that that's the lesser choice. It's not. It really isn't. Um, that just kind of weighed heavy on my heart, you know, this video for some reason. Um, but anyways, I love all of you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are all wonderful. Um, you you make this worth doing. Uh, so look in the description. I'll have some links in the description box for you. And again, in the comments, let me know about those color choices, what you think, uh, the white and lavender or the cream and lavender, because whatever, whatever the, the majority goes for is what I'm going to do. Okay. So I love you guys. Mwah. Be good. Be happy. Be cool. Keep poking and learn new things every day. Okay. I'm going to get my little thing here to shut you off. <laughs> if it works. Bye guys. <laughs>